Happy Valentine's Day. Yes. Happy birthday. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. So they've been plotting here. I'll have to share. We, oh, so they were part of the plot. Thank you guys very much. Now I gotta eat some pizza. I'm starving. Okay, so this is an example of a zero order kinetic extraction. And so, in other words, you're, it's all going to be linear. So, the decomposition is not constant here. You guys see that? Uh, it's not on there yet. These are the ones that I'm going to be adding onto your slides. Okay, we talked about uh, that first integral. This is just showing you that the process of going through it in a more systematic way. And often we'll be using the first order reaction. This is going to determine half lives. The half life is going to be equal to 0 0.693 over K. We talked about that the last time. Well, let's see. So, Let's go ahead and use, give you guys a problem. Okay, cyclopropane undergoes uh, decomposition at a first order, uh, uh, sorry, first order kinetics with a rate constant of 9.20 times 10 to the minus three divided by uh, seconds at 500 degrees Celsius. You know, it's like your birthday and everybody wants to get in contact, <laughs> contact with you. Yep. Um, let's see, how many minutes will it take for 80% of the original cyclopro uh, cyclopropane to decompose it? Look at the little buggies that came in. Okay, so we know that it's a first order reaction, right? So, what is the equation for that first order reaction? Okay. Natural log concentration of A. Equals what? Negative KT. plus Ln A0. OK. 
Okay. So So they tell us that they want to know the time, time, how many minutes will it take 80% of the original cyclopropane to decompose? So A naught represents that initial point, and A represents our ending point. So if we have 80%, what would that mean? Okay, we would have 20 left, 20% 20 left. Okay, so how would I represent that in this equation? How can I modify my equation? This is a T, yeah. So we're solving for T, so, so we need to get this solved to the other side of the equation. So we have LN, A minus Ln R. I don't know what happened. Oh, I do know what happened. So then we'll end up with, okay. So we have A naught divided by A. And that's gonna equal KT. And you said it was 20% that's gonna be left over. Okay, so then that means that this is LN in this case would be 20%, right? So we have one two. Equals KT. We have the value for K, so we can get Ln zero point two divided by nine point two zero times ten to the third negative three, sorry, ten to the negative three. <clears throat> So that's going to give us seconds. So T is going to equal I brought it over to the other side, I thought. Let me make sure. Okay, not, not 100. 
divided by a right now there should be a negative there What was that? No, you can't have negative time, but the value isn't going to give you a negative time because it's 0 0.2 divided by, and that should give you a negative value, right? Check to be sure. Let me rest these again. What? A negative value. Yeah. And so this guy is going to equal like 174, something like that. I don't know what the hell is going on with my, my pen here. 175. Okay. So 175. And that seconds. So if we change that to minutes, so we have 175 seconds. One minute. Sixty seconds. So three sig figs though. Give me three sig figs. Three point nine two. Okay. Huh? What do you mean by three point nine two? Yeah. That would be incorrect because three sig figs, right? So then you're only rounding this last one. You get points knocked off. Okay. Questions, concerns, cash, Kool Aid, cake, candy, candy. Okay. So our next question, how many minutes will it take, uh, how, many minutes, uh, how many minutes will it take the reaction concentration to drop from 0 0.150 molar to 0 0.0300 molar for a first order kinetics reaction? The half time is 8.5 zero minutes. <sighs> okay, what is the significance of this? Yes, half-life. So if T, 
one half is going to equal 0 0.693 divided by k, then I can solve for k because I have the time now. And then once I have k, I can use that to sit there and calculate how much time it's going to react, right? Okay. So, and then we're, we know that we're still going to use the same equation. Concentration of A. Minus one over A naught. Oh, sorry, wrong, wrong equation. Sorry. I had somewhere else that was second order reaction. Ln A minus ln a naught yeah, that's what happened football drank all day and then party at night you know catches up with you that yeah, was a good halftime show Okay, so then we have our initial uh, starting out concentrations, right? I mean, our initial and our ending concentrations. Troubles today. So I get Ln concentration of A divided by concentration of A naught. Equals minus KT. We're solving for T. So we'll get T is going to equal K. Solve for K first up here. So we know that K is going to equal. Um, 0 0.693 divided by 8.50 minutes. So then we can plug that in for K down here. So we'll get LN concentration of A over concentration of A naught. Okay, so then that would be, uh, what is that? Uh, 8.50 minutes divided by, I'm being lazy and not doing the calculations, 0 0.693. So then we plug in our concentrations. So we get ln uh, 0 0.150 at the bottom and 0 
zero three zero zero molar up top. What did you guys get? Zero zero divided by one plus one pi. I keep forgetting my negative there. So then times eight point. Zero divided by six minus three. So you get T equal to 12. No. So I did this correctly. So I got point zero, uh, let's see, zero, three, divided by point one five. So that's going to give me zero point two. So that'll be ln zero point two. Should be a minus in front of there. Times times eight point five, and that's a six here. Oh man, I don't know what keeps doing that. So then I get I get T equals what? Nineteen point seven. Blackmail. It works both ways. Oh, it's not blackmail. I'm just 
bragging on my students, how great my students are. I have the best students. Okay. They're not hard problems, they're just tedious, they're long, right? That's what it is. And especially with my third grade handwriting, makes it a little more challenging. I need to get my board writing. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is horrible, yeah. And your hands after a while, like I do it so much during the day, my hands are so sore at the end of the day. Okay, piece of cake. Okay, so a second order reaction is gonna look like this, right? And so this is a little more palatable, you know? Don't have to worry about the natural log. How many of you guys got to the natural log and you're like, oh my God, oh my God, what the hell is that? I remember we learned it in third grade, but you know, I, I was a little ahead of my. Uh, yeah, it was funny because my mom was really good at math. That, that was a real reason. I actually, I started counting when I was really young. We would play cards. That's how I learned how to count. I would count the cards. So, yeah. 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 Dimensions. Yeah. 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 Yeah, no, uh, it, it is a, it gets that a little intimidation and stuff, but once you get back to using it, it'll get easier. Um, okay, so second order reaction, we could have derived this the same way. I kind of showed you guys how I feel about doing that. And uh, so let's go ahead and use this one and then we will stop right here. Let's see, it says, Use the correct integration law to calculate the time in seconds for the initial concentration of 1.50 molar to decrease to 1.00 molar using the following rate law. What equation are we going to be using? I just showed you. Okay. So we know that we're going to be using the Okay, so now what is the value of K? Okay, give us the rate. That's right. So we know that K is going to be equal to. Equal. 
zero point two zero zero molar seconds. Negative one. So we can plug that into our value, but first do this. So our initial concentration is going to be one point, sorry, zero. Okay. Okay, this is my day. Release. There we go. One divided by. One point five molar and over one one zero, zero molar and then we get one over k. So then that is going to equal. Or zero point two zero zero. I'm seeing if I remember my math right. Got to get a common denominator. So that's what one point five zero over one. Point five zero minus one yes I brought it over to the other side already yeah yeah I got carried away I so if I'm solving for t t is going to equal one over k Sorry, times. See again, I, I'm like your parents there trying to do everything in my head. Okay. So then I have one over 1.5 minus one, which is gonna equal Many out of room here. Put it down here. One over so t is going to equal one over one zero point two zero times zero point five zero over. One point five zero. So that's the same thing as saying one third or zero point two. We'll get one point six. How many sig figs? One point six seven seconds.
Okay. Questions, concerns, Kool Aid. Okay. So, what we're going to do, we're going to stop here and then I'm going to say happy Valentine's to you guys. And then I will see you guys on Wednesday. It'll be a full day on Wednesday. Now. I know. You got to cut the cake though. Got the cake. Delicious. Okay, I will see you guys um, on Wednesday. Abel and Marisol. Great. Okay. Yeah, okay. Right. See you Wednesday. Happy Valentine's Day. All right, happy Valentine's Day. See you later. And happy birthday, Dr. Henry. Hope the Thank rest you. of the day goes well. Thank you. Yes. Bye. Bye. Thank you.